This week's Iron MPI is from Amanda. Lady Ada, what did you find this week? Okay, so this week it's a tool that I was like, I want this. And once in a while you'll see, like, I do, like, very complicated boards, like last week's NXP series, which was sort of like this massive... So you're complicated. That's my That's complicated. That's your complicated board. I mean, it was, like, it was a long line of like, I wanted to cover this entire family. <laughs> this one is a short and sweet one, but I, I, I'm very excited about this one because I personally wanted this tool. So this is the Wick Gun by Menda Easy Braid. Easy Braid is like the sub brand for Braid and then um uh, Menda is who made like the thing it clicks into. Um and this <laughs> this is like hey. this this will get rid of your solder bridges as easily as John Wick gets rid of uh nasty bad guys. So okay. um yeah coming to a theater near you it's got a hundred percent on these co promotions are getting out of hand. Yeah. Okay, look, I had a few minutes. I got my John Wick Happy Meal. <laughs> I opened up Photoshop. Uh, okay, so the Wick Gun is um, it's a tool that you would use with Solder Wick. So um, anybody who has soldered knows that um, soldering is super fun and easy until you make a slight mistake. And then you got to uh, get your tools out. Like um, here from uh, Phil B's guide on um, removing the headers. Uh, sorry, the headers and connectors from a Raspberry Pi. Uh, upper left, you've got a desoldering tool, also known as a solder sucker. Uh, top right is the flux. Um, use that to kind of um, keep the area clean and it keeps the solder from sort of spraying everywhere. It, it um, makes it flow a little better um, and keeps it away from sticking to the PCB where it shouldn't. And then um, at the bottom right there, super wick. So wick is um, a braid. It's made out of copper. And uh, it often has that flux inside of it or a rosin inside of it um, that makes it easy to clean solder joints. And then also the rosin kind of coats the solder joint and uh, keeps it clean um, and unoxidized later. So um, usually what you start with is a solder sucker, you know, especially with through hole parts. Solder suckers are good when you have a, um, a lot of solder. You heat it up, you put the solder sucker up against it and um you press the button and a little spring pulls back and the solder goes up and then you'll usually need to clean up afterwards with solder wick like once in a while you can get away with just the solder uh desoldering um pump or the solder sucker um but with the smt especially or when you have um if you go back to uh sorry for like this example for the raspberry pi when you have like those big connectors you see the usb connectors were removed um and solder suckers work really well when they are pressed up against like a solid blob but if you're trying to clear out a hole or something that already has a hole in it air will flow around the solder so it needs to have like su something to suction against and again that's where wick would come in but wick isn't good for huge blobs like it really quickly saturates so it's good for like the little cleanups so why don't you go ahead to um so here showing uh you know after you can see like the um larger holes still have a little bit of solder in them the little chunky solder you're not gonna be able to use a solder sucker to get those out that's where a wick comes in and just does the the fine work um there are a bunch of really good videos on the digikey youtube that you can um watch if you'd like to learn about soldering and desoldering including this one by becky stern only a couple months ago uh and then uh also a teaching moment um, has a really good guide on using flux and wick to uh, desolder and clean up uh, solder joints. Um, and there's also, um, uh, I didn't put it here, but uh, uh, Sean Hemel also has a guide on uh, soldering SMT QFN connectors. Doesn't cover wick, but it could be handy. All right, so the uh, 1000 wick gun, how do you use it? So you get these cassettes um, and you pull out a little bit of wick. We'll show you a little video later. You pull it through. And there's um, a little roller at the top that you pull. And as you pull it, it um, feeds the solder wick through. And then there's a little like um, nail clipper end. And when you pull the trigger, it cuts the wick out. And so basically you can always make sure you have clean wick. You know, actually maybe let's, um, I'll show it on the overhead because it's a little confusing. We can jump to the overhead real fast and then I will. Do you move anything? Or? No, 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 I got it. Okay. So um, this is it, and then you can see as I move the uh, trigger, it uh, sorry, the, uh, the roller, the wick is coming out, and then when I'm done, and this is the wick, and then I would, you know, use it, 
and you know solder solder and then when i'm done you clip and uh you clean it off and then you can get um fresh wick obviously i'm not going to solder live but um you know that's the idea behind uh the wick gun and then this cassette um comes out it has 15 meters of braid and of course you can get a uh, new braid very easily okay so let's go back to um to how to. okay so uh this tutorial shows you how to use it um you can take it apart to clean it if you have to uh and then yeah you can also pull back like the drive knob works both ways by the way so if you like pull if you feed too much out you can always feed back okay next one Okay, so for options, um, so it does come with these cassettes, you know, so like once you, you, when you can buy it with a cassette and then once you run out, you get new cassettes. Um, it comes in different widths, uh, number one through number five. And I think the one that I was just showing you is, I think a number, let's see, that was a number one. And then let's see, I also have a number four. And I think the larger the number, the wider it is. It's probably is basically about- the cartridge or is it? That's it. You can reload the cartridge if you wanted to, but it's kind of a pain and it's about the same price to just get like new solder. Yeah. Like, right. oh yeah, so like this is the number four. So do you want to go with the overhead again? Yeah, just quickly, I'll show the number four. So this is the number four and that's the number one. So it's approximate number millimeters wide-ish yeah. about, you know, that's okay. how, how, how wide it is. And then, you you know, the wider stuff is better with larger through holes. Here's the cassette chart. And then this is a cassette chart. So you can, you know, the cassettes themselves you can pick up um the wick gun itself is like you know 20 bucks and the cassettes are about 10 bucks a piece uh 13 bucks a piece and um yes you can load them by hand if you if you want there's, there's no reason why not to they they pop open and inside is just a reel um but most wick comes in like these kind of plastic pop open containers or really large reels um so you're just, you'll be sitting there and you'd be winding it so it's, it's up to you um, Mend and Easy Braids also have a bunch of other tools. They have uh, these nice bottles for isopropyl. They have little spudgers. They have uh, diagonal cutters, et cetera, pliers. So check them out. There's a whole series available on DigiKey. But the thing that's really great about this, I'll tell you why this is so great, is when if you're using solder braid, you know that it's usually, okay, here's what you do. You're soldering, and then you're like, oh, no, I need to do some braid. So you put down a soldering iron, you pick up the braid, you have to pull out some and you're like kind of messing with the wheel and then you hold it in one hand and you position it and then you pick up the soldering iron again and then you do solder and then you put it down and it's like there's a lot of like it's like fork knife switch hands move up and down with this it's one-handed so you know as you're soldering if you're like you you put down your um solder and you're still holding the iron you can pull this out and then extend some wick out clean up and then change you know you don't have to put down the soldering iron and you just they go back and forth between solder and braid, yeah. which is what I really like. It's available to DigiKey. And it's in stock at DigiKey. Um, Maybe. Well, no, no, because they have all the different families. This is just the one. Okay, quick, no quick, 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 bye. Yeah, but they have like, there's like 30 different types and there's like five to 10 of each one. We're I'm, so used to chip shortages. They're like, oh, there's four. Just... No, nah, it's fine. Yeah, you'll find some because I, I picked like the number one, which is the narrowest, but you probably want like number two or number three. Okay. Um, They do have them all in stock. Of course, I picked up, you know, one of the four and one of the one because I, I personally want this because I'm tired of yeah. putting down the iron and stuff. And we got a little short video. And we have a video uh, and it's in like a TikTok format. So uh, we'll play that. Check it out. Well, of course, since TikTok came along, YouTube has their identical it's format. Tech, yes, it's technically yeah. YouTube. And then so does everyone else. It's funny. It's like one format takes off. And I was like, I was scrolling through. I had to look up some stuff. And I'm just like, wow, YouTube is now filled with shorts. Yeah. Because that's what they're calling them. Yeah. Anywho, enjoy the format video. Ha ha ha!